Hey folks, Chris, once again, welcome back to another video. And this is going to be... I'm going to show you guys every single horror movie I bought that are from 2022. Now, I got I got, a, I got quite a few to show you guys. Um, I didn't buy every single horror movie that came out last year. Um, there was one I'm actually missing, so let me go get it real quick. Okay, it's here. So, I'm not going to go in depth on any of these movies. I just want to show you guys every single one that I bought that released last year. So, let's get started. First, I got The Menu with um, Ralph Fennis. I'm a Taylor Joy and Nicholas Holt. Um... This movie is really good, but there were there were some um, things that didn't make sense until the end of the movie. But this was a pretty damn good, pretty damn professionally made movie. I did like all the characters. The yeah, acting was really good. Um, Our Tower Joy was absolutely gorgeous, drop dead gorgeous. Um, I thought the plot. The story was really good, and I liked it. So, yeah, pretty damn good find. Next, say the worst for second. This movie called Goatly and Son of Satan. This movie's fucking terrible. <laughs> this movie sucks donkey balls. It's a terrible movie. It fucking sucks. Piece of shit. It doesn't even belong in this fucking collection. You know where it belongs? Fucking trash. <laughs> Fuck that movie. That movie's a piece of shit. Don't see it. Don't waste your money. And fuck that movie. Next, I have Pearl. Which I watched a couple nights ago. And I'm not gonna lie. This is a pretty decently made movie. There were some scenes that were a little bit weird, like that scene where she's, where she's humping a scarecrow. Um, but I thought, um, what's her name? Mia Goth was really good in this movie. She was scary. The way she, the way she, <laughs> the way she smiled, her facial expressions were really good. She was very eerie and creepy to look at. Also beautiful and striking as well. I just I didn't like it I like I like I didn't like it better than X. I thought X was still a more fun movie. But this was really good. Definitely gonna review this one day. And yeah, I recommend it if you have not seen it. Next I have the Black Phone, which is um James Wan and um Jason Blum who made this movie, and after that they made Megan, which is also a great movie. Um, and Malignant, Malignant, Megan, Black Phone, all these movies are fucking awesome that they're making, and this is no exception. This movie was really good. Um, the actor playing the little boy and the little girl, the, the brother and sister aspect were really good. They're very sweet together, and they were easy to root for. Ethan Hawke is creepy as all hell in this fucking movie. And, yeah, I just enjoy this movie. I definitely recommend it if you haven't seen it. Ethan Hawke is creepy as fuck. And the intensity in this movie is fucking... Passes with flying colors. But, yeah. Pretty good movie. Pretty scary. Next, I have... Bodies, 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 which I watched last night, and I enjoyed it for what it was. It was funny in some scenes, the jokes didn't really land for me, but some of them did. It's a very entertaining movie, it's a comedy, it's fun, it's cheesy, it's corny. Um, I like some of the characters, but definitely not one of my favorites of the year, of last year. There were some scenes in this movie that really pissed me off, but 
it's a decently made movie. It's not that bad. It's I'll probably review this too and give you all my my quick so my full thoughts on it. Pretty good movie. Pretty decent. Next I next I have is Terrifier Two, which I got yesterday. I watched this last night. Good movie. Great movie. Great sequel. I like the original, but this one, in my opinion, was way better. Definitely more violent and gory and brutal and gruesome. Arthur Clown is more terrifying in this movie than the original. Um, there's another clown kid in this movie. Which was, she was creepier than art in some scenes, man. I like the character of um, Sienna. That's not going to focus, but I liked her a lot. And, but, yeah, great movie. Definitely recommend it. Going to do a review on this as well in a couple of days, so stay tuned. If you haven't seen it, if you, have a, if you have a strong stomach, watch it. And lastly, I have Smile, which is my favorite movie of last year. I saw it in theaters, loved it, scary as hell, creepy, crazy, kooky movie. Turn that front upside down. I might review all these movies. I already did a rant on the pieces that's in that damn trash can. But, yeah. Smile, great movie. Love Susie Bacon. Love the actor who played this girl right here. Um, the smiling. Definitely not going to look at smiling the same way again. But yeah, great movie. I got the Blu-ray because I didn't, couldn't find the DVD anywhere, so might as well buy the DVD. So yeah, this is my 2022 horror movie collection. I'll definitely buy more this year. I'm going to buy Megan for sure. I'm going to buy Cocaine Bear. I'm going to buy Sick. All these movies. So stay tuned for more for part two. So with that said, guys, thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.